Hello folks and welcome back to Survival Challenge here on No Man's Land. And as you can see it is almost 2 o'clock. We have been busy. We have been getting the rest of the grape field finished and we'll put some more grapes in. Also we've been selling just a lot of our excess products. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is show some clips of uh, sensor stuff, so we sold some gold, some pads of other stuff, sold some digesting, and a whole ton more. So yeah, I'll quickly show those, it'll be about a 10 second clip, and then we get crack on with the rest of the episodes of where we've got a lot of work to do. As you can see, we sold a few bits here and there. Also, I spent another, what, two, three hours or so finishing off this. Actually, if you hop into the harvester, we're on 7.6 hours, so yeah, in total, this took us, what, five ish hours, five, six hours? I'll say more five than that. Anyways, we've got the last bits of the groups going in, and hopefully this should take all of it. And what I'll be doing as well is just transporting everything into the silo, or the bunker pad storage thing. And the reason for that was, at some weird point I was getting lagging at, and I wasn't sure why. It didn't happen before we had the pallets, but since then we've been having lag. And on another note, we are at the maximum capacity of grapes, so I think we established this is what, 70,000 litres I think, a month it uses. Just on the math, 67,200 litres a month, so that's two months worth of supplies, and we've got another third of a month, so two and a half months, so that's going to hold us to the new year. But now... We've got a lot of work to do. We've got cotton to do. We've got sugar beet to do. And we've got the mega sugar cane field to do. And yeah, it's just a lot of work. It's all hands on deck here. So to start off with, getting to work on this. You're doing that. We do have some more pallets, but if you didn't see that. But yeah, so we've gone and leased a Shkabit harvester. That will get dealt with. But I think to kick off the episode, as is most likely gonna be the thumbnail, is this. So hop into the crown a big X eleven eighty. And the thing with the sugar cane is, I'm worried about I'm going to actually fill the trays and see the capacity. And if we do, I most likely we will, even at a million litres like. So I don't want to do too many trips, so uh, I thought let's use a little helpful technique of the lizard tandem. Get free of the Colossus green cart, so these hold 
one and a half a million liters each. So, in theory, we should be able to do four and a half million liters. You're that right? Four and a half million liters off sugar cane. Oh, she's there a little coffin fit there, so yeah. Hopefully this should work, because if we... Yeah, so it gets unfolded, so... Another one now, won't... The pipe goes out, and in theory, it should go into all three, right? And also we have options for... You know, have basically fixed mode, like where it's transporting, or where the wheels turn with us. I'm not sure what we want. Do you mind? Well, yeah, I think I'll go with... Uh, let's go with work mode. So now... We are harvesting the sugar cane. And do we need four and a half million liters? To be honest, I do not have a clue. If this was silage, then probably yes, but for sugar cane, yeah, maybe not so much, but hey, rather be over prepared and under prepared, as I say. But yeah, we got a lot of sugar cane to do. And yeah, the plan is it's gonna be used to make some nice sugar. And I'm pretty sure with the sugar cane we don't need to mulch afterwards. I think the yeah, asshole so driver 53 video recently explaining all this, so you know what? I'm just gonna leave you cracking on that. But yeah, four and a half million liters. And actually, I'm wondering. I know I was on about doing the like corn oil in that. But is that ready to get a drone out? Is that ready to cut now if you want to? Yeah, yes it is actually. We can cut that, get to some maize silage. But do we need it really? Uh, no. Actually, we're at three percent already. So actually, we may need at least another one. But yeah, for now, well, why you stopped? Really? That stopped you there. Ugh. Yeah, so I'm just get everything done in this episode. That's why I'm gonna leave it on top of one for the time being. Just because I want to get everything done this month. Then in November we get the last cut of grass for the year. And uh, yes, another thing I've done is in between the episodes, gone and sprayed all the fields, all the grass fields, so that's one that's been for us to deal with, but... There we go. Now, we'll get you going up north, so... Eh, six somewhere there. And a quick check. And yeah, we're at 5% and we're almost at the end, so... 5... Yeah, I definitely need 2. As remember, 5%, or yeah, there's always 100,000 litres of sugar cane we've got, so, yeah, we've got a fair bit. So, let me get this horse up here a sec. Uh, check on you, but yeah. Give me a few moments, get my head pass out. Get my head together, and then we'll go from there. Oh, apologies, sir. That was a big old brain for a moment. I just had to, like, all of a sudden, your head went just mush, so. 
not sure how much I'm going to leave it. Ooh, power drift. And yeah, that's another thing we've also done is I've added, was it two, four, six, eight, ten new greenhouses. And yes, I'm producing everything, but all that's going to be solved. Apart from, actually, corn as well we can do with, so. Yeah, because we do with keeping the corn. See, so oats restoring. Corn we need to keep. And yeah, because we're just going to do this, because we want to make cereal. And uh, yeah, we ain't going to chaff the corn, because yeah, just remember, we need the corn to make cereal. Like, we did have some oats in storage, 27,000 litres or so. So combine that with all this. We are looking good, so again, check-ins on all storing, storing, lovely jubbly. So yeah, we'll get them out, pad its ball, transport them over and that. And yeah, we can make some delicious cereal. Oh, you stop, so... Guessing there's issues with this, so you know what? I'm going to spend time doing this myself. I'll just whack on some tunes and that, whack on a bit of podcast. And I'll get all this done, so yeah. Let's get this harvesting done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. There we go. We are almost done with the sugar cane. I'm then going to work on the cotton. We do have, I think, one, two, three, 
about six or seven cotton bells. And yeah, let's go and get this sugar cane finished. Also, we've got the sugar beet to sort out, so let's go over there a sec. So yeah. Well, we are full. And yeah, it depends on the, how the time lapse went. Because yeah, that would need a lot of editing just because of making so many mistakes in just gameplay and recording that. Yeah, it didn't help. I was absolutely exhausted when I was trying to do the time lapse, but anyways, we're fine now. But yeah, I just recorded, uh, what was it, two Vintage Survive episodes called Farm, and I thought we'll try to get this done as well. But unfortunately, I was just absolutely exhausted and made so many mistakes, so I thought Alright, I'll take Saturday off. And yeah, we'll go record this Sunday, so this may come out later on Sunday or Monday. But yeah, now all I'll try to do is get this empty, so. Five tips on this out. Because yes, we're absolutely full of sugar cane. 720,000 liters, 200,000 liters in the trader, and just, yeah, there we go. So we're going to get this cleared off first of all, and then once we've done, emptied this bit, little pile, then we can focus on getting the rest of this empty, and it's absolutely filthy. because get a bit stuck here. Alright, yeah, that's better, so we managed to get everything fine and all the light. Yeah, that's so what we'll do is just extend this out as far as we can go. There we go. We are emptying. And we'll see how much this will take because we have a look. Let's turn on sugar beet. Yes, we got that. Actually, I've got an idea as well of if I've got the mod enabled, which lets you shred sugar beet. I think it could be under production chains. I think that's it. We want the sugar beet shredder. So I'm assuming just put it there. To have a look at this, how does this all work? So, pretty simple. So, we go, okay, that's in there. Take a break for a sec, and I'll put the rest of this in. That, f that is full. There we go. Is that working? I do. Is because yeah, I'm just like looking at this. It says for 3.12 million cycles per month, so in theory, should be fine processing all this. I'm guessing because this unloads at such a high speed, maybe. Honestly, I do not have a clue. But yeah, forget the rest of this put in. Okay, we do have some sugar beet cut, so... But yeah, also that, we're distributing that, so that goes to also the biogas plant, so... Bear with me a few moments and get this all emptied. And then we'll proceed from there of getting the rest of the field sorted. And I think we've got a nice little setup here going, so we're offloading 
into here. We are still making the sugar bean cut, and then that goes into the auger. And then what we have to do every so often is just empty it. Is it the quickest? I don't think so, no. Maybe we're doing it wrong. No, really, what you do is you'll put a bucket in, and then you extract it from the bottom. Just trying to figure out a way of getting this done as quickly as possible because we've still got a lot of sugar beets to do. Let's actually have a look. So, because I haven't showed you actually what we've done on the map. So, starting with the sugar cane field, we are almost done. Cotton, we're almost done with that part. Then we just have to go over there. But yeah, still got a lot of sugar beet to do. And actually, with said sugar cane, we have a look. We've got 4 million liters at the moment. So, that's all including, obviously, the sandwich or whatever we had in, what was it, the sugar factory. And, uh, what, two, about, about 300,000 liters on the ground. So, overall, this harvest has yielded us well over 5 million litres of sugar cane. And obviously we can sell them and they're about 300 or so pounds, 3 4 pounds per thousand litres, but yeah, rather not. I'd rather make sugar and then sell the sugar. Even though I think the amount of sugar we're going to be producing will be fine till the end of the series, so Obviously, we've got this. This tandem setup does work well. I just wish, because of the size of the field, we have with a faster header in it. But there's nothing under too high control mods or anything like that, so. Saying that, if we do a great field or whatever, we can chaff it with something from the too high control mod or something. Or use the Colossal stuff. But yeah, what I have been sort of using the swell is this. So, this we can do shooting with. At the moment, we've got 600,000 litres, so this is a million litre capacity, and yeah, that's the thing with what I've been all about with the series is like, yeah, we've got, we're doing well, we're doing good, but. We're sort of forced to use unrealistic equipment on console because of oh, just the lack of scripted mods that would make life so much easier now. Or things like we had to customize certain stuff and or, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what modify, but I know with PC and that, there's so much you can do that to speed things up. And not just with creating capacities and that, just like bigger headers and that. Even like even if it was a you know a physically unrealistic header like uh fifty meters or whatever. I know TNT modding with his maps on FS22 that it, they are slightly unrealistic but it also it doesn't really show you, it doesn't give you the physical header size itself. It just gives you the cut range. But yeah, it's nice there, but yeah, I still prefer to actually see the size of the header and be cut. And yeah, I do apologize for sounding a bit groggy, a bit, bit of a stuffy do something like that. But yeah, also I figured out with this setup, we can fill all three basically at once. So obviously the other two are full to the max. All we have to do was empty it from here to here, that then empty from here to here, and then here to here. So then when we take it over to the sugarcane factory, if there was space and capacity, 
I can just park up next to it and just let it all trickle flow over. And I think actually we have hit set limit, so yeah, so a little bit left to do, it ain't gonna take us too long, a few minutes if that. But yeah, let's go and put this in storage for the time being, because yeah, I think we've got enough sugar cane for the time being. And there we are, so in theory this should empty like so, like one will start and then the others would. Yep, one, two, and three. I am actually liking that. We're going to fill this up to the max. Actually, I don't know what the capacity of this is. I think it's like 10 million litres or something, so... Have a look. Yeah, it should be fine. But yeah, let me get this emptied. Then it takes too long. And then, yeah, we'll go back to the sugar beet. And then we'll resume doing the sugar beet harvesting itself. So after a little bit of deliberation, I thought, screw that. And yeah, I forgot we had this. I think we used it before for sugar beet and that. Or at least for stone and that to get the lime. Or something on those lines, but... Yeah, what this is, if we have a look at our release item, so... We got the TLX Phoenix series mod, and yeah, we got the X3 Crusher. And yet, for that, we need to borrow the TLX Phoenix RSM2675. And yes, what this would do is, when you put should be in, all you have to do is just turn it on, and it shreds it, so... Now what we can do is put the sugar beet cut in. So if we go over here... I think what I have to do is... If we need to just get aligned with the auger... There we go. So that's empty in, now we need to get it lined like so, there we go. But yeah, you see the idea of it. And yeah, it is a bit laggy at the moment. I think that's because of everything we've got on the ground. And maybe the pallets as well. So alright, we're struggling to find the trigger for this. And yeah, I would just manually load it into the actual production itself, but... There we go, that works. We just set to unload. So now what should be cut going in, and I'm going to get a lot of sugar. So, whilst that's underway, we'll hop back into you. And yeah. Get to work on that. I will hop into the cotton harvester. So I think that is done with the other fields. And we've just got that one field left to go. And yeah, you can tell it's lagging because I'm trying to tab over a hand. Okay, for some reason I did have a work on it, but was doing absolutely diddly squat. So yeah. Let's get the rest of this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done. And yeah, we can just look at how much sugar we've been producing. And then we'll plan on what we're going to do next for what may be for our final harvest of the series.
So here we are, we're in November now, and yeah, what we need to do now is pick up this sugar beet and then find somewhere to put it. We've got no space left in the silo. However, I forgot the farm factory can be used to get sugar, so I thought let's get some sugar beet loaded up. Oh, this is sugar cane. Ah. I thought this was sugar beet, so... Oh yeah, I think we got a silo over there by the cows that we're using for TMR storage, so... Actually, what we can do instead then is just use that instead. Just to store the sugar cane for the time being. So yeah, that is a hundred thousand years. So yeah, we can sell it, get for three grand in that. And the money's gone up a little bit, that's because we pretty much sent everything now in, to sell in our production. So we're going to be planning to wrap things up, as I mentioned before. I think, yeah, next year is going to be our final year. We'll do the grapes one more time. Even though that means spending five hours, was it, no, sorry, was it three hours doing the plowing or something like that? how long it is, so I'll do that. I'll show a bit of that in the next episode. You know, do a full on like three minute time lapse, just something short. A minute and a half to two minutes, getting it done. Add in we'll store two on the jump cut. As we're done, and yeah, as I said we're on swelled, who apologize if this episode has been a bit a bit of a mismatch, it's just yeah, combination is just physically not well. And yeah, mentally just a bit of a low day in that. Nothing specifically in terms of why. Just yeah, if I had to put as a percentage, yeah, probably around 60%. Just overall just a bit down. And yeah, like even like today I was recording this on Sunday. or well, Sunday afternoon now. I'm saying sorry, it's in the morning. Just felt rough this morning. So I just thought, well, leave it till later on. Now so I feel a bit better in that. And yeah, part of that is down to my sleep schedule now, like, I do have issues with sleeping, either I sleep too much or not enough. If I sleep too much, then the next two or three, three nights, I am not going to be sleeping, so, it's a bit of a yin and yang with all that. But anyway, so, what I'm going to be planning on doing with all these fields is, merge all of them together. Including the grass field, like, we've got the money now, so any TMR we need for the next year will be fine because I think we've got transport quite a bit in the air. I think we've got like 1.1, 1.3 million years left in the actual production facility, and somewhere in the region of I don't know. 4 million in there, 3, 4 million. I should have a look, so... Yeah, 4.15 million, so... Yeah, not too bad, so... Let's go and get the pipe out. Or do we convert this into sugar? How much would it be for a... Sugar production? Uh, if I could find the mod. Got so many production facilities. Found it. 70 grand. Oh, a bit big it is. It is rather big. So, you know what? Nope. We're not going to do it. We'll just store it. And... If we're able to use all the sugar and that over the year, good. If not, so be it. We'll just sell it. There we go. But yeah, in terms of my plans, like, yeah, merge all the fields together, and then from there, plant in. I was hoping we or barley, however, we've missed the planting window for that, so our only other option for a grain is oats, so, and why? Because I want to do, get straw gnats, and not so much need straw for the animals, but I think as a one last raw, along with the harvesting, 
I'm thinking do short pellets and do it in the way it is profitable because as we learned from Corp Farm using the short harvest using the facility ain't the most best way of using the money and I forgot this is at a unrealistic capacity or at least in terms of speed so you know what let's just take it back a notch we'll finish this off in the next episode we'll start off doing that doing the crazy corn in that and then yep it'll be the task of getting all these fields merged together including the mulching so do you want to get the yield bonus? So, yeah. Even though we're going to be merging the fields together, I still want that yield bonus though. And uh, we do have some options for seed. I know we've got, what was it, two 18 meter seeders. So if we go down to planters, we can use, oh dang, they're all planters. Like, it's all some mods in that. We can give that 40 meters, but what's that? 18.2. The McKinsey's or the Kinsey's? I don't want to say McKinsey. That is our hard speed as well at 30 miles an hour or 13. The cakes are riser stuff. They're all planters. What about cedars? What have I got installed? Because I forgot. Ah, yeah, we could do like the seed hawks and that. So, 19.8 meters, 23.2. Or do we go with Borgo? That is a 30 meter cedar and that. And yeah, it suits the fields and that because we've got such a vast amount of field space. So, why not? And I'm thinking, looking at the land over here, these are relatively flat. Yeah, there's some trees in the way, but what we can do is just wood chip them. Because we are going to do wood chip pellets. We'll do that in perhaps the following episode or so, or next episode. Yeah, we've got a bit of work we can do over the winter period. Because you yeah, oops. Uh, yeah, March, April time, so. You know what? We'll do that then. So, on that note, that's where I'm going to leave it today. So, yeah, next time, next couple of episodes, as we're starting to wrap things up, it's going to be big. I like with this episode, but with a bit more cohesiveness in a way. But, as always, as I always say, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, Smash that button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed, try and get in the piece, consider. But, where you to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, this is from Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.